everybody, it's Colette Baron reed and welcome to the Universal Energy Forecast for this week, November 24th. And this week, we have something very special for you. Not only am I going to be giving you the Universal Energy Forecast, but we're also going to be sending out a gift to everyone that is on my list, and it is a copy of one episode of my television show, Messages from Spirit. So I hope you all enjoy it. So the Hidden Realms is the deck that I chose to tell the story of the umbrella under which we're all going to be operating this week of energy. And the first card that comes up is the Dragon's Duel. Now, we enter the week a little conflicted. Now, um, when I say that, it's really inviting us to choose to step out of conflict. Interesting as well, this is a week where a lot of people, certainly in America, uh, because it's American Thanksgiving, are going to be seeing family. So it tends to be a week that could cause some people stress. Um, and so it's really saying, if you're going to feed your stress and your overwhelm, you're going to get more of that. So be very conscious about where your thoughts, your feelings are directed. This is a week that you need to be very mindful on a day-to-day -day basis of where you're at. And remember, nothing is that important. Always, it's God first, self second, and others last. So relationship with God, relationship with self, then you can have a good relationship with others. So keep that in focus this week and you'll be fine. Um, the next card is the River Queen. So it reminds us all to go with the flow. So no matter what outer conditions present us, everything is going to be changing. So a river always continues and evolves and moves. This is really about movement and also about letting go the need to control events. Stay grounded, stay centered, and stay positive. Conscious contact to a higher power, self-love and compassion, compassion for others. Continue that, you're going to be fine. And the River Queen reminds us that there's a flow this week, so stay in that flow. The Diamond Dreamer is all about material wealth and prosperity. So, so what is prosperity to you? So yes, it does say this is a great week for you, not just to take a break and hang out with family, etc., on a holiday, but, and for those of you, of course, who are watching that aren't in America, that's not pertaining to you anyway. But this is a week to really focus on your dreams, allow them to flow. We don't know what the form is. Remember, spirit knows better than us the form in which our highest good is meant to take. So the Diamond Dreamer reminds us that it will take form and it will be for the highest good of all and there will be wealth, there will be prosperity. Um, and what that ever means to you, it's not necessarily about money, although it likely will say that there is evidence of greater financial and uh, concrete evidence that there's good things coming to you. Um, and the eyes of beauty, of course, is positive expectations. So it's in, it's, proportionate to your expectation. Stay positive. Eyes of Beauty is all about staying positive, seeing the world through the lens of beauty and opportunity, and it will manifest for you. Stay going with the flow. Don't engage. Don't engage in any conflict this week. It won't be worth it to you and you won't win. Anyway, talk to you next week. Please let me know how you like my show. Love you all so much. God bless you. Take care. Traveling down the road, I didn't know that I was lost I had tried too many shortcuts And the cost left my heart broken So I had it closed for repairs Wandering in my desert, your oasis appears You're like a long